Okay. So our legs are inside the circle. Plant your heels, plant your feet, press out on the circle, start. Sit up nice and tall so you might have to move your feet a little bit forward so that you're not falling back in your hips. Just feel that external pressure. Press out and out. And arms come straight up. We're just pressing out. Three, two. Yeah, that's not going to work, Tina. Hold it there. Hold that external pressure. Keep your feet planted. And we're rolling down all the way. <laughs> Pressing out, arms up overhead. Hi, sweetie. Exhale, arms forward, chin to the chest. Use that external pressure of the legs to stabilize your roll. Down, 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 down. Arms up overhead, keeping that imprint the whole time. Do two more, really focusing on the lower belly, externally pressing out with the thighs, shoulders down. Good. Hold it there. Bring your feet a little bit forward if you need to. Exhale, imprint, roll up to bridge. Right. Arms come down by your side, roll down. Good. Arms up overhead. Hi, sweetie. Imprint, scoop, come up in the bridge, all the while pressing out on that circle. Arms back down, roll down. Last one. Arms up overhead, exhale, squeeze into that extension. Arms down. Good, from here we're gonna to fit together. So, peel it up, pull up, sit up nice and tall, exhale, roll down. Arms up overhead, scoop, imprint. Arms down, exhale, peeling down, and up. Arms up overhead. Scoop. Come in your bridge and arms down. Good. We're just going to add on, changing up. Arms up overhead. Press out on that circle, rolling down, keeping your arms by your ears. Exhale, imprint, scoop, and arms down. Rolling down. And chin to the chest. Oh my god, I'm gonna get surrounded by a leash here. Arms up. Let's do that two more times all the way through. Make sure you're breathing. And last one. Good. This next one. Keep the arms straight in front. Rolling down the C curve. All right? Lower back comes to the floor. Fingertips reach forward. Press out with a circle. Forward, out. Forward, out. Eight. Seven, six, five, drop your chin. Last three, two, and let's roll down all the way. Arms up overhead, exhale, imprint, come into that bridge. Arms down, good, hold that bridge. Walk your fingertips forward, close your ribs in the front, squeeze your booty, press out on the circle, out, 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 feel your whole foot press into the mat. Four, three, 
two, just adding on, you press out, lift the pelvic bone up. Out, up, out, up, out, up. Ribs are pulled in, belly button pulls in, lengthen through the waist. Two, and last one, good. Walk your fingertips forward one more time. Roll down, vertebra by vertebra. Good. Come all the way down, legs tabletop, pressing out on the circle. Arms reach forward, exhale, scoop, bring it in. If your neck gets tired, put one hand behind, curling forward, forward, five, four, three, two, good. Upper body curls down, press out on the circle, imprint your lower back, lift your knees straight to the sky. It's a tiny little gesture. Don't pull your knees toward your chin. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there. Hands back behind the neck. Right at the base of your skull, of your skull. Elbows stay wide. We come into our little tuck and open. In and open. Make sure that your upper body is rolling up. Good. Three, two, and one. All right, putting it all together. Okay, we're gonna open, come back in. Don't bonk yourself on your circle, just pull in tightly. Open, imprint that lower back. Four more, three, two and a bowl, last one. We're gonna hold here, press out on that circle, hold it four, three, two, and one. And bring it in. Good, the circle goes to your ankles. Hey, sweetie. Okay. Pressing out on the circle, imprint your lower back, close your ribs, arms are long, press out, 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 out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold that external pressure. Open your arms, not to a full T, but probably 65 degrees. Keeping that imprint, pull your shoulders down into the mat, and we're gonna lower our legs toward 45. Tabletop in and up. Take your time. And up. Then and, and up. Let's do four more here. Pressing out on that circle the whole time. Three. Make sure your shoulder blades are pressed into the mat. Good, we're gonna meet at 90 degrees. Press out in the circle, lift the toes up to the sky, up, 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 up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, straight legs. So try and hold that imprint, ribs and belly pull in, straight leg down. Doesn't matter how far you go, what matters is when you come 90, you reset, lighten that tailbone. And little lift. And little lift. And little lift. Last three. Two. And last one. And bring it in. Let's remove the circle. Wide knees to the chest. Happy baby. And let's go extended V. Let's try to remember what circles we did, Kathy. Do you mean the leg, the circles with our legs and the straps? Um, did I say something about circles? Why your back, back muscles are sore. 
Oh yeah, when we did like the corkscrew thing. Where we went up and then came back down one That's side of our back. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. <sighs> okay, arms still at that, not exactly a T, but palms down on the floor. Let's start with our knees um, tabletop. And let's do a little figure eight here. So as your knees go to the left, keep your knees in line. So the right knee doesn't fall behind. Your knees are in line and your right shoulder stays on the floor. Bring it in. And to the left, I'm sorry, to the right. Really zip that, that midline up. Belly buttons in, ribs are closed. Good. This one, you go over to the left, lengthen through that right leg, come back to the center, tabletop, over to the right, lengthen that left leg. Oh. Keeping those knees glued together and even, and up. Good, this one, over to the left, both legs straighten and come up to the center and bend. Exhale over to the right, lengthen, center. Lengthen, squeezing the knees and ankles together. Lengthen and up. Good, stay 90 degrees. We're gonna do our figure eights with our long legs. Come through the center, spiraling the hips ever so slightly you want to feel the motion coming from the hips and your abdominals. Holding that belly button in. Good. Last time, each side. And let's come center. Good. Stay 90 degrees. Uh, left leg extends to the floor. Take hold behind your right leg. Left leg hovers. Make sure that heel is in line with your sit bone. Both legs stay parallel. Nice deep breath in. Exhale to switch. The extended leg up toward the sky, drop that hip. You don't want that hip to creep up to the rib cage. And again, switch. So dropping the right hip and switch. Dropping the left hip. Good. Exhale, imprint. Scoop your pelvic bone up to the sky as your upper body peels up. And we're going to do scissor on two beats. Beat, 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 beat. Singles, eight times each side. Take it with your belly, drop your chin. Four more. Three, two, last one. Good, hold it there. Lower your upper body and knees to the chest. Good. Toes pointed, extended V. And come back up to 90. Drop that left leg again, you're in scissors, so make sure your pelvis is scooped up to the sky as your lower back imprints and close the ribs. Right arm goes to a T, left arm reaches to the outside of that right ankle and pull up five, four, three, two, switch through the upper body first, then legs, exhale, up, five, four, three, Two, Tina, upper body, switch. Tina. 
Good, upper body. Awesome, pull it in, knees to the chest. Knees to the chest, and then go into extended V. Come here, sweetie. Come here, sweets. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good. Coming back in, tabletop. Hands back behind the, the base of the skull again. And spiral into your bicycle extension. Make sure your legs stay parallel and switch. Lifting with the chest and the sternum, spiraling the waist. Four, three, two, last one. My left knee is bent, my right leg is straight. Upper body comes down, that right leg comes down, arms to a T. We're gonna spiral over to the right. Go as far as you can, holding your belly in, getting legs from the pelvic floor to the crown of the head, keeping that left shoulder on the ground, spiral. And extend the left leg. Reach through the right leg just as long. And straight leg it up. Good, let's switch. Right leg tabletop. Left leg extends, square your hips, belly buttons in, close your ribs, and let's spiral over. Oops, sorry, sweetie. To the left. Really reach through that left leg. Right shoulder stays down, and now extend through the right leg. And straight leg it up. Switch it again, left leg tabletop, right leg long, spiral. Lengthen through the leg, and up. Straight into the switch. Oops, okay. Spiral. And let's come up, knees to the chest. Happy baby. Good, holding on to the back of the knees. Let's tuck our chin into our chest, hollow out in the belly, close those ribs. Just get a little motion. Find that scoop round in the back. Next one, we're going to meet at the top. Find your balance. Legs are tabletop, arms are forward. Okay, two times. We're going down in concert and coming up. Hold it down and up. Hold it here. Right leg extends. Left leg extends. Hold it four, three, two, and one. All the way down. Good. Arms up overhead. Pull your shoulders down. Close the ribs in the front. Engage your booty. Squeeze and lengthen through the legs. Take a nice deep breath in, and we're going to roll over in here. Okay. Forehead's on the mat, palms are facing the floor. Slightly external, externally rotate the hips. Tuck your pelvis, lift your belly. Nice deep breath in, and we're going to lengthen through the legs, lifting on the heels, and lower. Lengthen in the legs first, and lift through the heels. Two more. So tuck, narrow through the waistline, down, one more time, 
Good. Squeeze your legs nice and long and straight. Tuck your pelvis, lift your belly. And lifting the arms so that your biceps stay near your ears, upper body comes up. When you come up, don't push your belly down. Tuck the pelvis, close the ribs, exhale. And you're still looking down at your mat. Don't crank your chin. Let's do three more. Getting longer before you left. And last one. Good, come down. Relax, reset. And externally rotate your legs. Reach through the toes, tuck the pelvis, lift the belly. Pull the shoulders down away from your ears. Ready? And we're gonna come up under our elbows. These sticky mats makes it ever so slightly hard, but you wanna pull your sternum through. Lengthen through the chest. Lengthen through the spine. Keep your pelvis tucked. Lengthen through the abdominals. Turn your hands over. Push yourself down. Palms up to the sky, draw, four, draw in. Really engaging the booty. And rotate your wrist, push down. And last time here, we're gonna add on. Palms to the sky, elbows pull in. Good, now tuck your pelvis, lift your belly, close your ribs, your gaze is down at the mat. Two beats with your left leg, bending in, in, lengthen. In, in. So you're trying not to just ride on your kneecap. Really tuck the pelvis. Two more times, each side, two little beats. Last one, shoulders down, neck is long, good. Rotate your palms down and push down. All right, palms stay down, shoulders are down, lengthen through your neck, reach through the legs and the, and the toes, tuck your pelvis, lift your belly, both the upper body and the lower body come up into that arc extension, and down. Two more. I feel like you're being pulled in opposite directions. Think of the length more than the height. Exhale and come down, take a little break, shake that, good, come back in, tuck the pelvis, lift the belly, lengthen, squeeze through the legs, stem through the arms as you pull the shoulders down, exhale, we're coming up, holding, and our little oppositional swim, 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 five, four, three, two, and down. One more time. Think of lengthening and lifting first. Exhale. Swim, 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 swim. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Pull your elbows back in. Come into your little sphinx, lengthening. Palms up to the sky. Really squeeze your elbows in. Scoop out your armpits. Rotate your hands and come back into a high hip child's pose. Good. All right, let's get our ball. Okay. On all fours, or kind of on all threes. Let's put the ball in the crook of our left knee. And you can be up on your hands or down on your elbows, whatever you prefer. Close the ribs, lift the belly. Start by pointing that left foot and from the tabletop. So make sure you're not already externally rotating, come parallel. Squeeze the ball in. In, in, if your hamstring starts to cramp, just release it and come back in. Ouch, my ass. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Now hold that squeeze of the ball, flex your foot, 
Kick it up to the sky, up. Don't think down and up, just up, up. Now lift up in the chest, nice, tall, proud shoulder blades reaching to the sky, widen. Ouch. Sorry, I'm sorry, I keep cramping. Make sure that knee is parallel, you can check. Make sure that hip is lifted. Five, four, three. So you're putting it together. Squeeze in, lift up, hold. Squeeze in, lift up, hold. In, up, hold. Ribs are closed. Five, four, three. Ouch, sorry. Two, and hold it there. Flex the foot, and you open the fire hydrant, little external rotation, parallel. So don't collapse that hip when you come in. Spiral lift. Hey, Spiral lift. Don't sag into the shoulders. Do a nice long neck. Five. Four. Three. Drive safely. Two. Good. Open that fire hydrant. Point the toe and try and touch your right ear with your left big toe. Around. Around. Keep squeezing that ball. Keep the, the knee lifted. Five, four, three. Don't collapse into your shoulders or neck and don't collapse into the right side of your body. Stay lifted. Good, hold it there. Come down onto your right elbow. Open that hip. Flex the foot. Push back. As you push that heel back, push your pelvic bone forward. Ribs are closed. Five, four, long neck. Last two, good, last thing here. We squeeze the ball in, we lift. Squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it parallel, good. Take the ball away. Start with extending that left leg in front. Toes down. Now pull that left hip back out of your rib cage. Think of arching your back so you tip your pelvis to that back wall. Good, flex through the left foot. Tip the pelvis even deeper. And lay your body down, still pulling that left hip back. Good. Bend to the left leg into a pigeon stretch. Try to keep your shin parallel with the top of your mat. Keep the tension out of your shoulders, out of your neck. And if you want, extend through that left leg. Coming into whatever kind of split. You can bend your right leg and back or keep that uh, left leg, left knee soft. Opening up through the chest. Good. Swiveling around before we go to the other side. Coming into um, Z-shaped legs. So my left shin is in line with my mat. It's my right hip that I'm trying to drop and square. Spiral around to the right, holding on. You can use the mat, your thigh, or your shin. Lifting, lengthening. Good, left arm spirals, right arm up to the sky. And come into that full hip flexor extension stretch. Push the pelvis forward. Coming down, drop that right hip spiral. We're gonna do that four times in all. More. Eight. And last one. Shh. 
Good. Before we go to the other side, one more pigeon stretch, just spiraling your body back around. Come here, Tina. Good. And let's bring it in. Other leg. Ball goes in the crook of the right leg. On your elbows or hands, whichever is more comfortable, flatten the, the foot that's on the floor. So you're not up on your toes, you're flat. Pointing through your right toes. Let's lift up. Now check that you didn't drop that hip. Check that the knee is in line so it's parallel. Ready? It'll squeeze in, 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 in. Think of squeezing and not releasing, not in and out, just in, hold, in, hold, in, hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold that squeeze, flex through the foot. That's up to the sky, same thing. It's up, up, no down, just up. Ribs are in, belly's in. Watch how much weight's on your hands and in your shoulders and in your neck. Shift that weight to your supporting leg. That's why you extend through the top of the foot. Five, four, three, ribs are in. Good, hold that lift. Open external. Now try not to fall into your left hip and parallel. External, external, shoulders down, long neck. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back parallel. I forgot something. So squeeze in, up hold. In, up hold. In, up hold. In, up hold. Five, four. Ribs are in. Last two. Good. Hold it there. Come down onto your left elbow. Open through that right hip. Point the toe. Try and reach around to your left ear with your right big toe. Don't let your ribs pop. Go around and around. Shoulders down, neck is long. Curl four, three, two. Good, flex the foot. Lift that knee up and up and up and up. Four, three, two. Put it together, lift up, kick back with that heel. Up, back, up, back, up, back. No down, no forward, just up, back, up, back. Five, four, three, two, and last one. And come parallel and bring it in. Beautiful, take the ball away. Stem through the right leg, flat foot. Their hips organized, so pull that right hip back. Lift up and out of your hips in the torso. Lengthen through the spine. Now try and tip your pelvis back to the back wall. Good, flex through that right foot. And try and drape your body down, pulling that right hip back the whole time. Good. Shifting forward, bend that right leg, come into your pigeon stretch. Try and get your shin parallel to the top of your mat as you lift up on that hip. You should feel the stretch through the lower back. Tina. Good. We're spiraling around. Right shin is along the mat line. Left leg is in back. Drop that left knee. All right, hip. Spiral. Getting taller as you go around. Right arm comes around. Left arm up to the sky. As you open through the chest, push your pelvis forward. Close the ribs and come down three more times. At your own pace. Using the breath, shoulders down. Last 
one. And uh, good. We're going to um, come back into our a pigeon stretch. So bending through that left leg again. So I'm doing a pigeon on my right leg forward. Right leg is forward. That's what I, yeah, because I did the left before. Yeah, I felt something was wrong. <laughs> there we go. Okay. okay. Coming down, let's do butterfly. Facing one another, but push your feet out in front. Find your sit bones wherever you want your legs forward enough so you can really feel your sit bones, shoulders stacked over the hips and crown of the head is right on top of the pelvic floor. Pull back in the belly, close those ribs, drop the chin, lengthen through the back of the neck and then dive forward in a dolphin dive, extending to a straight back. Exhale. Really feel your belly button pull to your spine, narrowing the pelvis and the inner thigh as you go down. You should feel that inward contraction. One more time. And let's reverse. Let's come down straight back. And big dramatic rounding of the spine to stack back up. Last one. Good. Alrighty. Arms come up. We're going to do dolphin dive. Arms come with. Scoop hollow. Arms reach forward and come up. And narrow. Two more. You should feel the added upper body weight with your arms. Require more of your hips. And last one. And your abdominals. Good. And bring it in. Okay. Uh, let's do, um, let's go into a downward dog. So toes curl under. So ribs pull in, heels reach back as your tailbone reaches high to the sky. Come up on releve. Try and increase that pike, increase the fold at the hip line, press the heels down and up. And down, two more, up. And up. Good. Lift in the pelvic floor as you walk back. So you're not so reliant on your arms. Walk your feet together, ankles and feet together. And let's spiral. So try and keep your hips square as you spiral. And fingertips point at the perpendicular. Walk back to the center. And over to the left. Again, pull that right hip back. One more time, walking through the center. Back to the center last time. And come in. 
Beautiful. Walk the hands forward to a tall A-frame, not pushing all the way down to downward dog. Step your feet, sit bone distance apart. Lift up in the belly. Square your hips. And let's pull out that left leg up. All right? Find your balance. Come down, tap the toe, and lift up. The leg right now doesn't have to go high. Oh, I'm very close to the camera. It doesn't have to go very high. Just breathing, lengthening through. We want is that left hip to stay lifted. Good, last one. And flat that left foot. Square off through the shoulders and hips. Pull your chest up toward your shoulder blades. And the right leg goes up and lower down. And down. Sending through that left hamstring and cap by keeping that heel down on the ground. Three. Two, and last one. Good, flat foot. Let's walk back. A frame here, push back into the heels then, and the elbows. Walking back forward to your A frame. Come up on releve. Same thing, staying on releve. Now lift that leg as high as you can, lower, come up, lower and tap the toe, up, keeping the shoulders down, tap, up, lower down, up, tap, keeping the hips square, let's do three more, two, Last one. Good. Lower your heel. Oh, bend that left knee open through the hip and the pelvis without collapsing in your shoulders. Lift the belly. Try and keep equal weight on your hands as you open up through the pelvis. And come back parallel. Square your hips. Float that leg down, walk your hands back, elbows to the, to the hands. Good, release your arms, soften your knees, roll up. Roll back down. Walk out your eight frame. Well day. Lift that right leg, heel down, up, flow down. Keep your weight out of your neck. Let's do four more. Three. Two. One, good, now lower that heel. Oh, bend the right knee open through the hip. Trying to keep weight on your right hand versus tumbling into your left hand. Just pushing the pelvis forward. Good, square it off. Extend, come forward. Little A-frame, walk your hands back. Elbows into your hands with the upper body weight. Fall forward. Release your hands, soften the knees, and roll up. Ooh, I'm dizzy. Okay, rolling back down. Walk all the way forward. 
into your plank. Scooping the pelvic bone toward the chin, close the ribs, lift the belly, draw the shoulders down away from the ears, push back through the heels, find your big toe versus rolling out onto your pinky. Good little toe sweeps, just sweep, sweep back, don't drop the hip. Five, four, Three, two, last one each side, coming into plank, hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, good, push back to your eight frame, downward dog. Back into plank. All right, anybody want to do plank push-ups? You know these things? Oh yeah, let's do those. Up, up. Okay, so you alternate which arm goes down first. So I got plank as you come up. <laughs> Siri thought I was talking to her. One more time, each direction or each side of arm. Let's come down, coming up on elbows. Hold it here, find your big toe, little knee taps for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lengthen, hold it, the final eight. Stay longer, straighter. Tuck the pelvis, lift the belly. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees come down, high child's pose. Good, we're gonna thread our left arm through. Draw the shoulder down away from the ear and try and square your hips to get the extra spirality in your waist. And come up, we're gonna thread through the other way. and come up all fours. Before I go to upper body or arm work, let's do bird dog. Okay, so extending our left leg, find your balance there, nice light arms. And down, right leg. And down, one more time like that, each side. Your weight is in that supporting leg more than in your hands and wrists. Good, left leg extends. Right arm extends. Lift out to reach up, shoulders down, ribs closed. And let's pull into the center, elbow to the knee. Exhale, lengthen. Exhale, lengthen. Notice where your weight shifts to. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Let's meet and hold. Let's longer, straighter. Hold it four. Three. Two. And one. Come down tabletop. Little cat cow just to ease out. Arching. Movement is driven by the pelvis. Two more. Good. 
Last one. And let's go from arch to tabletop. Lengthen out. Right leg goes back. Find your balance. Left arm. Hold and reach. Four. Three. Two. And elbow to me. Exhale. Three more. Good, let's meet up in that extension. Reach longer and then higher. Hold it, three, two, and one. And bring it down, good. Round up, let's do the push back into your hips. Stay scooped and lifted. And forward, flatten the top of the foot. Whoops, sorry. Forward as you arch. <sighs> Two more. Good, sit all the way down. Little child's pose. Open your knees to press your chest through. Okay. Let's come down on our belly again, Kathy. Mm. Your forehead's gonna be on your hands. We're gonna open our knees as wide as is comfortable. Flex the feet, heels together. Pull your heels in toward your tailbone. Don't let your feet hang out here. All right? Now lift your belly as you tuck your pelvis into that mat, squeezing the booty. Boom. Exhale, bring your heels up. My, maybe that's my issue, my hip flexors. Okay. Squeezing the heels, lift up, 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 eight, seven, six. Keep your belly lifted, your ribs closed, shoulders down. Last three, two, double time. Up, 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 no down, just up, up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, sit back, wide knee. Child's pose. We have another step. Okay, and coming forward. Other hand is on top. Forehead is on the hands. Widen your knees. Flex your feet. Tuck your pelvis first. Lift your belly. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears. And on your next exhale, lift your heels and knees. Up, 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 up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Alternating, it's right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it down. Good. Wide knee child's pose. Good. Before we go onto our back, we're going to stack ankles and knees. My least favorite thing on the entire planet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see through the feet. Give your ankles square with your calf. Good. 
Sitting up as tall and upright as you can. Good. Arms back. Tilt. Knee. Exchange. The other way. Exchange again when you're ready. It's usually easier on the second try. <laughs> do you have your hand weights nearby? I do. Okay, right, so let's bring our hand weights. We're going to lay down on the floor. And bring our circle. Heel of the hand is on the pad. Extend through the fingers. Lengthen through the spine first. So you want it neutral. So plant your tailbone. Belly button pulls in, close the ribs to the midline. We're not arching and we're not imprinting. Reach long through the fingers. Widen your shoulder blades, pull your shoulder blades or your shoulders all the way to the ground. And then reach up, fingertips touch to the sky. Okay. And pull down into the mat. Up and down, up and down. Slight internal pressure with the heel of the hand, not so much that you're doing the work in the elbow. Good, three. Really flattening the shoulder blades. Keep your ribs flat. That back bra line stays down. Good, now widen the elbows, heel of the hand on the foot, on the pad. Draw the circle right over your chest. And we're gonna push in and hold. Little release, push in and hold. As you push it and hold, you want to widen through the shoulders, lengthen through the neck. Feel the ribs pull to that midline. Scoop out in the armpit, you should feel your obliques. Let's do four, three, two, and last one. Hold it here, internal. Just press in eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one, and release. Okie dokie. Let's get our hand weights. What size weights do you have? Oh, just they're two pound. <laughs> two pound. Okay, well, I'll do lighter weight with you then. <laughs> Hardly anything. Well, two pounds can become quite heavy after a while, you know? Yeah. Okay, I have two pounds as well. Okay, same thing, feet are planted, neutral spine, ribs close. Let's open our elbows out from our shoulders. We're gonna push up. So you don't want your hands over your eyeballs. You want it just like chin, just below the chin. Opening wide, goal post, push up. Wide, and as you push up, you want to lift in the sternum as you press that back bra line into the mat. Let's do eight more. Coming goal post, straight, goal post, straight. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one, good. Open goal post, palms down toward the floor, up to the sky. So your elbows are floating. Keep those elbows as if they're stuck on a rod. You're just pivoting. Shoulders down away from the ears. Let's do six, five, four, Three, two, 
And last one, come back goal post. Circles with the elbows. Draw circles on the far walls with your elbows. Engaging your shoulder blades and lats. Keeping the wrists right over the elbows. And reverse the direction of your, of your circles. So you're drawing on the side walls. Ribs down. Five, four, three, two, good. Goal post arms. Now open your palms to the sky. Elbows are hovering. And we're going to do little flies. So the palms come toward one another. Same thing, you're just below your chin. Open, soft elbows. Like, like you're, like it's tree hugger. So you're hugging a big ball as you come up. Pay attention to where your shoulder blades are. Press that back bra line into the mat. Let's do six more. Good, let's meet up at the top. Palms face away from you. We're coming down to the floor, not touching, hovering. Come back up, just to ears. Press that back row line into the mat. Five. Four. Three, Tina. Two. Good, we're gonna meet with palms down by our side. Rotate up to the sky. Open up overhead. Coming down. Tina. And up. Keep going in those circles. Now she's just, she's literally walking the circles all day. Yeah. Two more circles that direction. Yeah, you come here. Okay. And let's reverse. So for 90 degrees, open up to a T, hollow out in the in the armpit, and come up. You want to feel your shoulder blades opening. Working on the floor with that back bra line pressing in. Tina, here. Two more. Last one. And let's bring it in. Okay. Um, all right, last thing, bicep. Hey, Tina. Roll your shoulders down, elbows are in. Palms are open, keep your wrists in line with the forearm and just a little bicep curl. So as you come down, you wanna feel your palm open so the weight's really working into the bicep, not in your wrist and hand. Sitting up nice and tall. Eight, seven, good, come to a right angle, service out, pull in. Let's lift our chest, elbows just slightly behind your ribs. Service up and pull extend. Four, three, two, and last one. Right angle and lift the elbows. Squeeze in and lift. The direction of your palms change as you lift. Don't bring your shoulders with your elbows. Five, four, 
Breathe. Two. And one. Oh, Good. Uh, let's come back on our back for our last thing here. Oh. Let's do arms to a soft T, so just slightly below. We're just going to do some leg throwing, okay? Left leg is bent. Extend through the right leg. All right, keeping the toes pointed, throw that leg up. Keeping a neutral pelvis, so don't tumble into your lower back as that leg comes up. The more you can keep your pelvis facing the far wall, the more you feel that extension in the hamstring. Three more. Two. And this time as we come down, let's go to circle. So open to the side and up. Same thing, trying to keep the sacrum planted. Three. Two. And let's reverse. Around. This time, come up. Flex. Point down. Flex. Point down. Flex. Three. Two. Stay flexed. Down and up. Our point down, flex up, reach and flex, reach, flex, four, three, two, and last one, and let's switch. Left leg pointed, square your shoulders and hips, neutral spine, and throw that left leg up, same pointed, ribs are closed, that bottom bra line or the back Draw line presses into the mat. Three, two, and circle down, up. Three, two, and reverse. Open, flex through, point, flex through. Last two, last one, flex up, flex down. Three, two, point down, flex up. Last three, two, and one. Hold knees to the chest, wide child's pose. Anchor your tailbone and open to an extended V. Roll your ankles one way, roll them the other way. Let's just do a little Shavasana. Yeah. Open the feet, let your legs fall out, palms in the sky. Check if there's tension in your shoulders, your neck, or your jaw. Wiggle your hips a little to see if there's any tension in your lower back or hip flexor. Nice deep breath in, push your belly out, just take the air in. And lengthen and soften as you push the air out. 